Uh, Kai, what do you got? Yeah, I've, I've got a little um, PowerPoint about powered respirators. I bought one for Christmas or as a Christmas present for myself. Go so for I can share that. Please. Okay. So that should be in presentation mode now. Is that working? Yep, that's great. Okay. So um, in general, there are two different types of powered respirators. On the right hand side, you can see an early one that I bought around 1990 something, I think. Um, so it has got the, the fan unit, you can see the little fan here, um, and the, the batteries in the, the helmet, and also the filters in the helmet. Um, and um, it's a bit heavier than um, a unit where you wear the, um, the filter and the battery and the, um, the fan around your waist separately. And then the, the helmet is connected via a hose to your, um, yeah, the, the hose connects the helmet to your fan unit. And um, I couldn't get any spare parts for the old one, no more filters and seals and stuff like that. So I bought um, one. Yeah. And that's the, the unit you wear around your, um, your hip or waist. Um, that's, the, that's the 3M unit. Is it 3M ad flow? And what does that cost? Um, in Germany, if you buy them new, they are around a thousand euros. Uh -huh. um, and I, uh, including the, the helmet. Um, and um, I bought it secondhand on eBay. It was nearly new and paid um, 480 euros. So euro and dollar, dollar should be a little bit more than the, the euros maybe. Um, but maybe pricing in the US is different from um, the pricing in Germany, I don't know. They are rather expensive, but they are really, really um, pleasant to wear and great if you have glasses and a beard as I do. Um, so it's a very comfortable um, helmet as well. Yeah, um, so that's what it looks like. At Flo actually, do, they do two lines, 3M in Germany. One is called the AdFlow line. That's the, the heavy duty line um, actually designed for welders. And then they have a, a light duty or lighter duty line called VersaFlow that is for other purposes, for dust control and stuff like that mainly. And also in, uh, in chemical and med medical professions, they, they use them. Um, the, I think the, the technology is the same inside. It's just um, the, the cover here is a bit more heavy duty. It's a bit heavier as well to wear, but um, I think it's okay. So my unit, as it was secondhand, came with the AdFlow um, yeah. part and the VersaFlow helmet to go with it. You can combine VersaFlow and AdFlow. That's no problem. Um, do, you yeah, wear so it all the, do you wear it all the time in the shop? Um, I wear it when I do sanding and I wear it when I do turning where a lot of dust is developed. Okay. I, I can show you in a minute um, and I try to wear it quite often now because I want to test how good the, um, the battery pack is uh, or still is. That's the problem. If you buy it used, um, the battery pack might be not that good. But as far as I have used it now, it, it runs more than five hours. It should be okay. So, and I placed it in, uh, inside in the workshop so I can grab it easily and I don't have to take it out of a cupboard first and stuff like that. So if, if that's too much work involved putting it on, you, you'll never wear it. So, okay. Um, and that's the, the, the helmet. You can flip up the, the visor. Here you can see the seal that goes around your, your face. It um, fits really nicely and you don't feel it a lot. Um, and yeah, from the other side, that's where the hose connects. Here's the air channel. And then the air is kind of blown along the, the visor. You have got two air speeds. I always use it on the lower air speed. That's um, sufficient for me. Um, but maybe in summer when it's hot outside, it's nice to have um, more airflow. Um, yeah. Um, 
You can even, there's a little flap here, you cannot see it in the picture. You can even direct the airflow either to the helmet or to your face or to the, the face shield or to your, your face. Um, so that's, um, that's really nice. Um, when you open up the, um, the unit, you find two filters. There's a pre-filter and a main filter. And that's the filter cover that goes on top. Um, and that's the unit without the filters. The filters are just kind of clicked onto the unit and you can build up this filter stack using um, other filters in combination with the one that I already have. So um, there is a, an odor filter that you can put on it um, against smells. And then there is also um, a filter unit if you um, spray um, paint that has got thinners in it um, so that to protect you from the um, from the vapors of the, the paint that you can click on as well. So you can then the stack gets a little bit higher and you have maybe to be a little bit more careful when you move around your workshop that you don't um, kind does, of does knock it that against other things. Does it hook on your belt or does it have, it have its own belt at the waist? It has got its own belt. I'll just go back. Maybe you can see it in the here, that's, yeah, that's the, the belt. It's a leather belt with the ad flow unit and with the reverse flow unit. It's a lighter belt that has got kind of a lock that you have with um, day packs or small rucksacks or something like that, which yeah. you just yeah. click shut. And you, here you have a, a leather belt that has actually got holes and a, and a buckle. So go back. Yeah. Um, it's funny. Uh, what all is the, uh, what is the runtime on the battery charge? Um, they say with new batteries, you have seven or eight hours or a working day. And then there is um, a bigger battery pack that should give you maybe 12 hours or even more. Um, but of course, a bitter, uh, no, sorry, a bigger battery pack is heavier as well. So maybe it's a better idea to get two of these um, smaller packs. That's the battery down here, the, the gray thing. Um, and um, so maybe it's better to have two smaller packs and then when one is empty, just take another and exchange it for it. Um, the, the price um, for the battery pack, if you buy it new in Germany is for the small one around 150 euros, um, should be the same dollars. And um, if you, you buy it on eBay um, as new in, or in new condition, then it's about 70, 80, 80 euros. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's what I tried it out on. I had collected a lot of um, turning squares that I cut from locks that were too small for um, turning bolts, or I thought they were too small for turning bolts. So I cut them into turning planks and I just thought, okay, that's a good job. Now I can turn around and see how the, the unit works. So um, I turn a lot of these um, round. You can see all the shavings I produce and here you can see the dust that had collected in the pre-filter of the, um, the unit. So it seems to be an enormous amount of dust that is in the air and wearing the, um, this thing, even if you um, don't do sanding, I didn't do any sanding, it was just um, turning, then um, it seems to make sense. So um, very good. I very think good. It, it makes sense to protect against um, dust in some way, either with a unit like this, or even one of these masks that we all have to wear because of Corona and don't like, but, but they help in the workshop as well. So, yeah. There's another alternative uh, that's available if anyone's interested. I, I bought one, it's 40 bucks. It, it is, it's, uh, you can get it online. Uh, it is a mask with a tube, uh, the air filter, is worn on your arm. Uh, I could show you a picture if if you want me to show. Yeah, it. I can. I can stop this share and then you can show it. Let me go into share here. Kai, have you used the uh, or seen the? I suspect they're in Europe. Uh, the power cap 
from the people up in Britain. That's what I um, use. It fit everything is on your head and it's not very heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and because uh, I've heard a lot of people, I don't have a belt one. I've heard a lot of people have the belt one uh, comment about how the weight is bothersome. And like you mentioned, it's harder to get on. You still got to get the belt on, get the hose connected, pull it on. This power cap, you just lift it up out of its storage bin, pull it over your chin and you're on and you just reach back and start it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the the first photos I showed, there was an, an old power cap that, that I used um, and I find the belt one um, more comfortable to, to wear. And after putting it on and off some several times, um, it's really a quick, um, quick job. And I have the, um, the, the fan unit hanging at the wall, just grab it and put it on, connect the hose. It's um, a click in thing, um, connects really quickly and then um, put that on and it works nicely. Um, of course, it's a matter of price as well. The, um, the well, one let's, let's go see what makes is about double the price than the other one. I let's guess. go see the one Ted has. He's got a $40 unit. Let's have a look at that. What do you got, Ted? Um, uh, can you can you see it? Not yet. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So I, I tried this, and you know I wasn't sure. I didn't want to spend a thousand dollars on one, although uh, obviously they're much better. But this one I really like. Um, it's as you see, it's just a regular. It's a it's a N95 mask. That little uh, filter on the side you wear on your arm or around your neck. It's a HEPA filter. Um, uh, and it has batteries that last seven or eight, seven or eight hours. You, you just plug them into recharge and it has three air flows. I find it very comfortable. I, uh, I wasn't sure about it, but I, I find myself wearing it several hours in the shop now for, you know, sanding and turning. Um, it's great and it's cheap. Huh. That is cheap. Anybody else have any uh, experience with that or comments on it? I'll get out of the chair. Yeah. All right. I find this a very pertinent discussion. I have, I'm about to, I'm shopping for one of these units. So this is very helpful to me. Okay, it's just been a great, go ahead, Ted. It's been a great unit. I, I recommend it if you want to try something that's inexpensive. Cool. Yeah. The, the nice thing about the 3M unit is that you can get every small part as a spare part for it. So, mm -hmm. um, that's that's really um, nice. I bought some other stuff, not um, an air filter unit, but something else from from China, and it's really difficult to buy spare parts for it. So I think it's nice to have a company that can supply you with um, parts if um, things break, for example. Yeah, 3M's worldwide, that's for sure. Um, I'm going to move on then because we're moving through our hour here, and I've got um, uh, I've got a bunch of guys next. Wood shop. Thank God for wood. <laughs>